So let's take a look at this week's internet weather. Uh, these are the top 10 most probed ports. At the top, uh, no real change for 23 TCP and 445. That is Telnet and uh, SMB. Been there for forever, <laughs> it yeah. seems like. Uh, 881 TCP is an alternate web port. I think it's specific to an IoT vulnerability we've researched in the past. 22 TCP is SSH. 3389 is remote desktop protocol. 80 ICMP is ping. 80 TCP is plain old web port, which is up two spots. Uh, 8545 is JSON RPC, typically related to Ethereum cryptocurrency. Uh, 5038 we'll go into in detail later, as will we cover 8089 TCP. So both of those have jumped up significantly. All right. Uh, these are the most sources probing. Again, this is the number of individual endpoints scanning and not the volume at which they are scanning. 445 and th uh, 23 are at the top. 8080 is another uh, web port. 80 is web. 5431 is, I believe, it's registered to Park Agent, but I think it has to do with Broadcom UPnP vulnerabilities. Okay. 5900 is up to 18 spots. Yeah. That's a huge jump, and that is VNC. It's a remote, kind of a remote desktop client. Okay. Uh, 80 ICMP is ping. 5555 Android Debug Bridge. 81 TCP is another alternate web port, like we said, for IoT. And 1433 is MS SQL. So, 5,900, yeah. up 18 spots. Look at this. Incredible, right? Uh, significant number of scanning sources. Uh, it seems to be, I'm not sure it's on a weekly basis, but you can see there's a definite week gap there, yeah. where this scans from the 14th to the 21st drops off, and then again, at like the 28th, it start, starts up again. So I'm not sure if this is a research project or what. Uh, I really did not get a chance to look at where it's coming from, unfortunately. But there's a 30-day view of that. And it peaks up around 8,000 scan sources per hour. Incredible. Yeah. 445, I like to check in every once in a while. I mean, this has been a, a big deal for a long time. WannaCry, right? Usually WannaCry-related scanning or the same kind of eternal romance, eternal blue bug family. Yeah. Uh, it, it tends to be trending downwards, so that's good. Uh, but still significant amount of scanning, as we saw on the first two charts. 5038 TCP, this is Asterisk Manager API. So people are probably familiar with Asterisk as a PBX system yeah, for phone. a phone system. You connect yeah. this to the internet and then to a bunch of modems or, or phone banks, and you can use it either to bridge phone to SIP or just SIP. It's very versatile. Um, if you put it on the internet, people like to try and scan for these things and use them for phone fraud. Mm. So if you have access to this API and you know the default credentials and they are set to that, you can get into the system, find out the other credentials for the system, and then from there you can kind of pivot, create your own accounts, and use it for fraud. So this is sort of prolonged scanning that's just kind of peaking, it seems like? I think so, yeah. I think someone out there has decided to start kicking up Okay. Uh, a real bunch of, of scans maybe, and um, again, for research or for malicious purposes, it's not really clear, but the top sources are in Canada and Iceland, there's only about a handful of those. Okay. Uh, 8089 is the other port that jumped up this week. Splunk uses 8089 for two different things, for management and deployment. Uh, I found an interesting exploit scenario where you can sort of connect to a Splunk instance and then like upload something and then switch it back to original where it was. It's, it was a little bit complicated. Uh, they called it forward or hijacking. Okay. Uh, but if, if you're interested in that sort of thing, I recommend yeah. that you check out that post. Uh, the top sources are all in the US and we peak somewhere around 180 million scan sources per hour here. So again, significant. It doesn't seem like there's a, much of a floor yeah. on this one. It seems that someone is definitely uh, scanning it in a very concentrated way for a short period of time. Uh, another one that I saw that did not, I don't think 5632 made our list of top 10, but it made it, uh, there was a baseline alarm for it, so I'm, I'm checking okay. it out. Uh, 5632 UDP, which I found registered to Semantic PC Anywhere, which is another remote desktop kind of uh, Right. Uh, set up. So people might be using this again. The same reason that you would scan for VNC or RDP is if you can find some default creds and get into a box and get full, you know, visual control of it, you have, you know, that's it. Game over. Right. Um, the scanners are mostly 10 sources in the Netherlands. Um, so I'm not really sure if this is malicious or research or not. Uh, but again, we're peaking up around 140,000. Uh, and the last one was another kind of weird port that came out of nowhere. Uh, 65533 TCP, and at this point, I am not sure what it represents. Oh. We haven't quite pinned down why it's being scanned, but it's been a significant uptick in scanning in the last month, so that's going to require some further investigation. There are hundreds of sources in China scanning for this at this time. At the start of, of March, we were less than a million, and now we're somewhere around 1.2. I wonder if we'll find a vulnerability 
come out that's using this port that hasn't been announced yet. You Might know? be. The yeah. one place I found an interesting reference to it was someone had posted sort of a, a PowerShell script okay. that was referencing this and scanning ports 445 and 65533. Now I can kind of understand where 445 comes right. in. I just don't understand why 65533 is in there. Well, yeah, I mean, a lot of times we talk about how we'll see stuff in the network before it comes out in the news, and yep. maybe this is one of those cases where we're, we're out in front of it, so that's interesting. Yeah, so we'll keep an eye on this one for sure. Great, thanks, Matt. I always kind of key in on those areas because it, it shows the value of our visibility, and you know, we're seeing scanning, and there's not really a good explanation of it yet, but as of now, we're sort of seeing the scanning before uh, anyone has correctly diagnosed the uh, issue there.